It's normal I should leave. This gym was the best, but now we've been defeated. I don't blame them for leaving. They want to learn martial arts from the best teachers. And our defeat has made them look elsewhere. Still, do we have to close just because we lost? It doesn't make sense. 
We've survived these past years because of our reputation for excellence. Now we've lost. People won't be interested anymore. But if we leave with our tails between our legs, we're going to be a laughing stock. And anyway, they cheated us. They should have been disqualified. <sighs> well, they weren't. Therefore, the result stands. What's the use of complaining now? It's too late. And I've got enough problems already with this broken leg. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> You're a very wise man. Who are you? I work for Kent. What do you want? Well, seeing as how we beat you, the boss has decided to buy out this place. Sammy, take that sign down. Hmm. <laughs> Well, I really don't think much of your martial arts. You've got no chance of beating the Kent Jim. You want to stop living in Cloud Cuckoo Land. <laughs> Wait. We can't do anything, so just stay calm, okay? Right. Michael. Linda. Clean this place up. Then get packed. Get out of this! Get out of the And the ace coach in a wheelchair! Excuse me, please. What's the name of this place? What's the matter? Can't you read? Hey, hang on. You see, I always remember this place as being the White Shy Gym. How come the name's changed? Hey, old timer, what do you want to know it for anyway? This place is a gymnasium, not a retirement home for old people. Hadn't you noticed? We don't take antiques, so why don't you just beat it, huh? But the lady here, she can join us if she's interested. What do you say? <laughs> Hey, enough. Hey, what's the matter with you? Now, let me deal with the old man and you go away. Go get changed. Right, now then, mister, what can I do for you? Oh, I wanted to know if this was once the White Chai Gym. Oh, I see. Yes, it was, but uh, the White Chai Gym closed down some time ago when the landlord sold out. Why, did you two want to follow the martial arts courses here? If so, you could learn with us. These guys in here are some of the best teachers around in Bangkok. So, I'm sure they could teach you. Why don't you try? Uh, thank you. I just wanted to know where the White Chai moved to. Oh, right, I see. Well... Just go down the street and ask at the grocery. Or maybe they know where they've moved to, okay? I'm sorry that I couldn't be of help to you. Right. Thanks a lot. <laughs> This is you. I think that's it over there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Tom Chin! <laughs> Good, to Good to see you. Good to see you. Sit down. Go on. Have a seat. <laughs> Well, now, what's all this, then? And what happened to your leg? Ah, uh, it's a very, very long story. We were cheated by another outfit from Los Angeles, the Kent Club. You were cheated? Uh, I'm not surprised. You should have been more careful. Well, then, we'll just have to get our revenge, if that's the case. Hey, I'm getting old. I'm not as fit as I was. I don't want to fight. These guys are evil. We don't stand a chance. So let's forget about it. If I understand correctly, you're scared. What's up? You used to be the meanest son of a bitch on the block. Tom, my son mustn't end up like me. I want him to have a future. Your son? I didn't know you had a son. <laughs> well, actually, he's my godson. Is that him? Shh. Hi, how are you? 
Fine, fine. <laughs> Who is she? Uh, she's my daughter, Siu Chu. So this is Siu Chu. <laughs> Hello, you are a pretty thing. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> it's amazing just how quickly time passes. It must be at least 20 years ago now. I find that I'm hard to believe it. It seems like yesterday. Remember? You went and joined the rebels. Yes, I did. And because of that, Su Chu never received a proper education. That's why I'd like to leave her here with you. Hey, why didn't you say so earlier? You know you can always count on me, Tong. You can both stay here with us. It's no trouble at all. See, si Han, come and meet your uncle. Sure. Well then, introduce us. <laughs> Remember when you were younger, I used to talk about your uncle. Well, this is him. Ah, so this must be Uncle Tom, then. <laughs> and it's thanks to your uncle. I married your godmother. It was your Uncle Tom that saved my life, you know. That was in 65, I think. you also had a daughter, so... Uh, where is she? That's right. And she's the image of your sister. Of course, she never saw her. She died in childbirth. I guess that's why. I've spoiled her ever since she was a little girl. Look, she's never here to help out. Sierra, you said you'd take me to the movies. I haven't finished here yet. Well, get someone else to do it. You promised me you'd take me. You can't back out of it now. Linda, you're always out all day. What about your work and your studies? You should think about these things. Come here and say hello to your uncle and your cousin. Mm. I'm pleased to meet you. Hello there. See, hon, come along. If you don't get moving right away, I won't speak to you again. Hey, hey, don't get mad. It's not that important. 
All youngsters are like this nowadays, right? <sighs> See, Han, you go ahead to the movies, but don't be too long, okay? Right. <laughs> Okay, let's have the news. Do you have any new instructions now, huh? Well, since the white side closed, our income's been cut in half. Hmm, of course. It was your idea to get rid of them, so tell me, who's to blame? How was I supposed to know this would happen? Anyway, I got a new idea. But first, here's your money, so take it, huh? I'll go along with your ideas as long as you're paying me. So what's the plan, huh? First, let me make it clear. You don't get paid if you screw it up. What's the matter? You don't trust me suddenly? I've done everything you asked me to, and I've done it damn well. So don't you start giving me all this horse shit about not paying me, you understand me? You won't find anyone better. Hey, now just calm down there. I didn't mean anything. I don't doubt your capabilities. All right. So stop giving me all this horse shit. I was just restating our conditions, so there's no misunderstanding. All right. Okay. So what's your idea? I want the white chai Jim to fight. To fight? Why? If the white chai Jim fights, people will bet. And we will make money. Hmm. I can arrange that. And don't forget what I said. Here. Yeah, what's that? Why don't you come on out here and get it? <laughs> See that? He must have gone to obedience school. <laughs> Train too. <laughs> Bastard, see ya. Come here. Here, boy, come on. <laughs> 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 We're well insured, so don't worry. We're yeah. just playing a claim. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Linda, look, what are they doing? <laughs> what the hell are you people doing in here? Take a hike. We're redecorating, can't you see that? I'm gonna redecorate your heads, you idiots. <laughs> no, don't do that. Just get this place tidy. Right, if you say so, sir. <laughs> I've had enough. You understand? Hey, we've done enough already. It's no use wasting our time on these shitheads. Let's split. Uh, <laughs> hey, Bimbo, tell your friends to get into shape down at Ken's gym. Then maybe they'll act more like men and less like chickens, huh? Oh, you don't say that. Wait. But Uncle, we all... <laughs> Forget the 
those jerks. Let's go back to the gym and work out. Oh! Uncle? Mm -hmm. Why can't I fight them? We have to be very careful. We don't know what they're up to yet. There's an old Chinese saying, he who can bend in the breeze will survive the storm. And you'll do well to remember that. Mm. Okay, so now do you understand? And you'd still bend with a knife at your throat? <laughs> well, that depends on how sharp the knife was. <sighs> I don't understand your reasoning. <laughs> Don't you worry. You'll know what I mean one day. Come on, come on, easy. There. Right, up, up. Come on, come on, come on. Hands higher. Come on. Did you want me, sir? Is there anything I can do for you? I sent some of the boys down to the garage, but they wouldn't take up the challenge. So I need you to come up with something, okay? Whatever happens, they have to fight. Sir, I'll see to it. Right away, sir. Can I help you? I guess so. The air conditioner is blowing out hot air all the time. It must be something to do with the compressor. Take a look at the thing, will you, please? Could you open the hood, please? Uh, sure. Swan! You rotten swine! You promised to take me to the disco tonight! Had you forgotten? I'm sorry. But I got a lot of work on. Maybe another time. But that's what you always say. I was really looking forward to going out to the disco. <laughs> if you refuse to take me, then I'll just find somewhere else. Uh, excuse me, but I'll take you out. Would you really? You don't mind, do you? I'd be delighted. Do I meet with your approval? Hmm? Okay, I'd be willing to take a risk. Hmm? Hey, you can forget the car. I've got more important things to do. Keep the change. Linda? What's the matter? I can do just as I like. Hm. Oh, let's go. Hm. Sure you won't take it? Hm. It... <laughs> Bastard. Don't worry. This is the safest car on the road. By the way, I didn't get your name. Linda. Ah, my name's Beacon. Now we know each other, where should I take you to? The 77 Club, New York City Center. Okay, that's a really neat place. Okay, lady, here we go. Not too bad. Ah. Uh. Son, let me ask you, what do you think's the quickest way to send on a car? <laughs> In my experience, it's muscle. That's the only way. Oh. Hmm. Fine. Well, to send on a spot here, how much time would you need? I've no idea. Michael. You keep a time check. I'll start sanding, okay? Sure. Hit it. Hey, Michael, how much time did that take? One minute dead. You see, 
took me one minute exactly. Hmm. That's good. But you only sanded down that part. I bet you in the same amount of time, I'm able to sand down the whole door panel there. Hmm? Uncle, you've got to be kidding me. I won't believe it till I see it. Very well. Mm -hmm. huh. Michael, you set your watch. You tell me when to start, okay? Hit it! did you make that? 55 seconds. Mm. <laughs> Uncle, that's great. Uh, Uncle, can you teach me how to do that kung fu? Yeah, sure I can. But first of all, you'll need strength. Build up your wrists. Yes. And then your waist. Waist. And lastly, your legs. Legs. And once you've done all that, you can start. What about the movements? Please show us, Uncle. Ah. First, the wrist movement. Watch carefully. Great. Practice that movement whenever you have some spare time. Right. Right. Michael, go and bring me that grill. Sure. Practice. Go fetch me the doll. Okay. Now watch carefully. Now, if you can master all that, sanding a car will be a piece of cake. Thank you, Uncle. Sure. Boxing matches for a while. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Hey, I heard they're putting on some more bouts next week. Yeah, but since they closed down the White Jack Gymnasium, there's no more excitement in that game. Oh, you're damn right. I think Ken's gone too far this time. Just because he wants his gym to be the top outfit, he went out and closed down the White Jack. Now there are no good clubs left to fight against. And placing a bet has become a waste of time. And the situation won't change until the White Jack Gym. Oh, it's the only way. 
No, unless it's a realistic opposition. No one's got a better sense of cancer. Right? Uh, you might have enjoyed you guys. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, all right, all right. Take your seat, huh? So, what's so special about the white shark? Can other gyms put up fighters who might have a chance of beating the Ken boys? Well, to be honest with you, ever since they closed down the white shark gym, lots of people have lost interest in the local boxing scene. Yeah. Isn't that right, Charlie? Yeah. yeah. We're all gone dead lately. Right. Shame. <laughs> Real shame. Oh, see. Now, you guys know what people have been saying about the boxing scene, hmm? Mm. Right, so we've got to do something about the situation. For people to bet, there'll have to be a match between us and White Chai. When they bet, we'll all make a killing. Right, boss. Now, I've designed some show bills. Whatever happens, you'll somehow have to convince Lon to get back in the ring and fight. Yes, sir. Mm. Don't worry. You can count on us. Here. cable from my old unit today. They want me to go back there. Uh, but that's crazy. Isn't it time you settled down? Mm. You could get a good job here. Why do you insist on living such a dangerous life at your age? You quit while you're ahead and look after your daughter. <laughs> you have a point. Mm. When I see the commander, I'll tell him that I'm quitting. He won't refuse. I'm already past the active duty age. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi there. Excuse my butting in, but I came to pick up Linda. What's the matter? Are you jealous, Sihan? Well then, shall we go? <laughs> Linda, stop playing around. You're grown up now. You should be more sensible. I am sensible. Come on, let's huh? go. Okay. Take it easy, you guys. Hey, listen. I don't like that guy. He's up to no good. You ought to keep an eye on him. Mm. Nancy Han has decided to make a comeback fight. If he wins it, he'll get the Wai Chai Gym back. The boss of the Ken Gym has agreed to it. The Ken Gym is putting up their best boxers to face Lan, who will be Wai Chai's sole representative. Lan has been training hard and learning new techniques from his new coach. It's a fight not to be missed. Oh, come on. Hey, we did. I go here, you knuckles. Hurry up! What are you doing up there? Coming, coming. God, you're impatient. Here, it's for you. Come, I'll explain. I 
want you to take this bottle. Not unless you tell me what's inside it. <laughs> this, my dear, is dried yak horn mixed with white snow lily. It's a very rare mixture, handmade by Tibetan llamas in Shigatse. Ooh, disgusting. Yeah. So what do they use it for? It increases strength and prolongs endurance, an excellent tonic for martial artists. So where did you get this stuff from? Uh, from a friend of mine. Hey, why don't you give it to your brother, Si Han? It will give him more strength for his boxing matches. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. What do I do with it? That's easy. Give some to him just before he gets into the ring to fight his next match. Thank you. I'm very grateful. If you're grateful, why don't you prove it to me? How do you want me to prove it to you? Well, if you start by lying down, I'm sure I'll think of something. <laughs> It's up to three million, three million. Okay, fine. Any limit on the betting? Huh? No, no way. Okay. Okay, fine. Five. Oh, oh, right. Ten million, ten million. Okay, that's fine. See you later. It's five million, fine. Okay. Yeah. Are you quite ready? I'm ready. I'll be okay. Don't worry. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to today's match. The bout today features a contest between the famous Wai Chai Gym of Bangkok and the Kid Gym from Los Angeles. Representing the Wai Chai Gym is a favorite of the Bangkok supporters ever since his days as a junior boxer here, the one and only Lance. The meanest, toughest fighter ever to step into the ring. Get up. 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 Get up.
Oh, John! Get going! Go on! give up hope no matter what happens otherwise everything will be lost and it's the same with fighting if you lose your confidence you will lose the match your opponent won't show you any mercy Exciting girls. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the second boxer from the kitchen is the incredible B.
Hey, Jesse. Uh, how do Michael help it going? Huh? You're supposed to have left. What are you doing here? I want to learn from the best teacher. And Sihan is the best. So, I was wondering if you'd let me come back. What do you think? <laughs> you got a nerve coming back here. You deserted us when we got kicked out. Do you think Sihan's forgotten that? The past, the past. You're welcome to join. No problem. Come on in. I appreciate it. Thank you. Picture must go over there. Give it to me. Linda, what's the matter? It's all finished with now. I don't understand. Why are you so good to me after what I do? You're not even mad at me. I don't deserve all this. You should hate me for what I did to you. Forgive me, see you, honey. <laughs> You've recognized your mistake? Why should I be mad at you? You ought to be angry. This is just making it worse for me. I don't feel I can look you in the face anymore. <laughs> Linda, all that is history now. And anyway, we all still love you. You're all too good to me. Sister, do you know how much that fight cost me? Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Kent. Really sorry. <laughs> I lost two and a half million dollars. Do you hear? And you know what? It was all your fault. You've been too damn sure of yourself, you asshole, ever since you came here. That's why we lost. <laughs> you were supposed to check on his weaknesses. <laughs> and what do you do, you knucklehead? You pork his sister! Say something, you scumbag! I'm sorry, Mr. Kent. Really. From now on, you're gonna damn well keep out of trouble and stay here. I'm warning you, if you put one toe outside this place, I'm gonna tear you apart, you understand? Yes, sir, I understand, sir. I'm gonna find the world's best martial artist to train you, you hear? Yes, sir. Meanwhile, they're gonna keep an eye on you. You got that? Uh-huh. Somehow I gotta get all that money back. Michael, get that out of here. Sure. What do you want here? We're looking for old man Tom. Where is he? He's not here. What do you want him for? Nothing special. Just that someone doesn't like him, so he's been sent to kill him. Oh, interesting. If it was your mother, I suppose you'd want to kill her, too. We got a comedian. Oh! Hey! 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 I got some pension money, so I thought we could celebrate. Papa, do you think I could go to school at last? Sure, why not? Kung Fu. I fought using many martial arts styles in my time, but I've never used Chinese Kung Fu, so this should be very interesting. Come on! Hi! <laughs> 
Uncle, I look after Sihan. Thanks. Be careful. Hurry. What's the latest on Sihan? Oh, don't worry. The cuts are only superficial. As long as he takes it easy, he'll be up and about in a few days. Uh, where's Linda? I knew. She's disappeared again. Oh, uh, never mind. I thought she could stay at the hospital, that's all. Look after Sihan a while. Father, why don't I go and look after Sihan? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes? Who is this? Got a message for you. Sure. Uncle, help me! Fucking get them! Come and help me! They want you to come! Hmm, what? No, yeah, all right. I'll be there as soon as I can. See you there. What's the matter? Who was calling? Was it the hospital? Uh, don't worry, my child. It wasn't the hospital. I have to meet someone down in the brickyard. So stay here. I'll be back soon, okay? It shouldn't be more than an hour. What's important is that you're safe. Come on, we'd better get home to your dad. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> you must be looking for me. Why don't you let the girl go free? She's innocent. So let her go. You wanted me? Come and get me then. <laughs> we will. Get lost before I change my mind. Be careful, Uncle. I'm scared. Linda, go home quickly. Don't worry. I won't come to any harm. <laughs> I just couldn't stand lying there in that hospital. I kept getting this feeling that something terrible was going to happen at home. Hey, where's Uncle? Oh, he just got.
got a phone call from a friend. He's arranged to go and meet him down at the old huh? brickyard. Do you know what it was all about? Mm-hmm. I'll be right back. I'll look after suit you. Papa! Please don't leave me! <laughs> you can't leave me behind like this! Papa! <laughs> Papa! What's happened to him? Your uncle's dead. some good news about Lan's Chinese Kung Fu instructor. He won't trouble us anymore. So now, it's up to you. I won't screw up. You can counter it, sir. I'll do my best.
Hey, you guys have made a pretty good job of these posters. You know, I'm really very impressed. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I still need some more ideas. We haven't finished yet. Yeah. Um, here. You get out on the streets and put a few of these around. That's the first step. We've still got to find a way of persuading Lana to fight. Ugh. But why don't we just lay down a challenge? A challenge? Yeah, we could try to challenge Sihan. Mm -hmm. That way we'll discover the most important thing, his weaknesses. Once we know them, we can make quite sure that Beacon beats Lana in the death cage fight. Ugh. Yeah, okay then. <laughs> We already posted a notice. We're not interested in accepting challenges. What's the matter? You afraid of something? Maybe you're no good. The aim of a martial art is to improve one's strength and to provide a means of self-defense. It's not to be used as a means of bullying others who are weaker than oneself. Well then, is that clear? I don't want to listen to that nonsense. You're going to fight, asshole, and you're going to fight now. You're trying my patience. <laughs> purpose to that. I think you ought to go north for a while, okay? Come back when things are calm. Hey! 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 
must have put up one hell of a first to get him back to fight so soon, that's for sure. The only way they'd get Sihan to fight so soon is to kidnap one of his family. Hey, I want you to get hold of Barbara and Jennifer. I want them to kidnap Wai Chai tonight. Right. Then I'll fight. Yeah. into mincemeat. Hey! Ah! Ah! 
嘴角带着微笑，可是眼神中为什么却是？So tell us what's so special about this contest. It's special because it's the first time that a contest of this sort has been held in Thailand in a century, and probably the last time too. You see, the fight takes place inside a bamboo cage studded with sharp spikes. It's a fight to the death. Whoever loses the fight loses his life. It's survival of the fittest. Hey, that's incredible. I'll have to make sure to get in on the betting. Tell them to release the old man, Jay. Come on, get out. You can go now. Just kidnap me so they'd see how to be forced to fight. Now they've got what they want, they're satisfied. Let's see how okay. Don't worry, Father, he's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the fight of the century between one card and Beacon and in the other Lansi Han. The fight will take place inside this specially constructed bamboo cage containing over 1,000 deadly spikes. If either of the fighters falls on one of the spikes, they'll mean certain.
<laughs> well, it looks like our guys improved. This time we're certain to win. <laughs> You also cheated us out of our gym. Yes, who the fuck else do you think it was, you idiot? Right. Let's see how good you are. I think you'll be surprised, boy. This is a lesson you won't forget. Yeah. Shit! Oh! 